Hello, and welcome back to Under the Moons, and I've just had a rather busy weekend. So, as some of you may know, I recently ventured to Cologne, Germany to attend Gamescon, in which Outcast 2 was being shown off and had an exclusive demo just to be played there, all encapsulated inside of a two-story Outcast-themed booth. And also attending was Fabian from Planet Adelpha, so this seemed like the perfect opportunity of two sides of the fanbase to meet, to come together and support the game. But the excitement didn't stop there as, later on, Fabian and myself were invited to play the game live on THQ Nordic's well, live presentation they were doing over Gamescon on their own YouTube and Twitch channels, with our segment starting on the Saturday at 12.30pm. So I had a destination and a time to be there for. The plan was to get to the Outcast booth for 10.45 in the morning to play the game for myself and then talk about it on the live show with Fabian to our admiring public. So with a bag full of tech stuff that I never actually ended up using, along with a top of the line lapel mic that plugs right into your phone, I was all set and ready to go. But even though I woke up at 3.45am to make sure I could get the first flight out of the country at 735 things don't always go the way you plan. I included a timer in the middle of the screen so you can keep up with, with everything. later than I wanted. This stupid expo was laid out so badly that it took 20 minutes for me just to go from the entrance, which wasn't even the right entrance, all the way to Hall 8. So, no time to play the game on my own, but boom, going on the live stream with that being my first interaction with the demo had a kind of a nice ring to it. But we still had a little bit of time before then, so I grabbed my top of the line lapel mic that plugs directly into my phone top of the line piece of crap. I thought it was time to do some reporting. Hello and welcome to Gamescom. I'm actually here and <laughs> in front of the Derica, the Outcast 2 booth. Isn't that crazy? After all these years, it finally made it. So we're going to be having a look in there as much as we can later on. But the gameplay is sealed, so we can't record that. We've got some nice B-roll footage that we will play over it. First up, I'm going to be going live to the THQ Nordic live studio up there, so that's pretty well. Me and Fabian are going to be going there and representing the Outcast fans from 1999 onwards. Me and Fabian are about to go on THQ Nordic's live YouTube stream. Uh, we're in the lobby waiting room at the moment. In fact, there we go. Oh, hey, are we VIPs? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have a debriefing 15 minutes before, and then it'll be live. But even after that, we still had a little bit of time. And so Fabian reveals to me that he's got a little surprise for me. Okay. Now you can see your surprise. Uh, okay. It's unit time. Fabian's giving me a surprise. It's just the left of me. Hey! We got the. Oh! That's a nice material, isn't it? Brilliant! There we go. So we got a lovely Outcast 2 bag. I absolutely love this. But there seems to be some stuff inside. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh my goodness! We're taking it back with a mouse pad. That's fantastic! I haven't had a proper mouse pad in years. Oh! 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 We got a. A lovely Outcast 2 t-shirt, and uh, he guess my size, how do they do that? It's so large! Thanks again Fabian, <laughs> very much appreciated. <laughs> 
So with the littlest time left, we made our way to the live booth. Don't think I've ever been called an expert before, so that was nice. A little bit of a boost you need before you sit in front of several cameras. There's the terrifying timer. <laughs> and then behind is the show floor. So perching on the hem of the couch and wearing a black t-shirt in a coordinated attack on my belly, we went live. Hello and welcome back up here and we are talking English again. So welcome back to our international viewers. I hope you still like the German part maybe or took a nice break. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, we're back in English and I'm not sitting here alone again, of course. I'm joined by Pl Fabian aka Planet Alpha and Adam aka Under the Moons. Hello, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> nice to see you. You're, you told me you're kind of super friends of Outcast. Oh, indeed, we are. Yeah, that's kind of probably the best way to sum up, to be honest, just ridiculous super fans. Yeah. Who've kind of gone a bit too obsessed, maybe, in maybe some Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I'm like the obsessed German-speaking fan. And I'm the obsessed English-speaking fan. <laughs> awesome. So you guys met for the first time today, right? Yeah, so we've been in touch um, just online since 20, I want to say 15, about yes. that. And um, back and forth, back and forth, of course, outcast content. Mm -hmm. And yeah, suddenly no. it was like, well, let's meet up at Gamescom. This is a big moment for this franchise and for the fan base. Yeah. And yeah, so here we are. Here we are. Very, Very lucky awesome. to be invited by you. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yes. <laughs> that big vibe all the way from the UK. Ah, it's shucks. crazy. <laughs> I mean, I expect a lot from you since you're super fans. So oh, okay. I'm really excited to learn about the game from you. I mean, should we just take a peek? Yes, let's go for it. This is I'll the first time I've I've right in. So this is really exciting for me. This is pretty bonkers already. So <laughs> such a massive upgrade from what was what came out in 1999, you can imagine. So I'm seeing like several different types of robots, which I'm guessing yes. we've got kind of this progressing tougher enemy yeah. as you go. Oh, wow, here we go. It's kind of on, get one it, get way it. of the environment. So let's get out into yeah, the real game now. Uh-oh. I don't think he's long for this world. I love how excited you guys are. <laughs> so excited is ridiculous. Uh-oh, bye-bye. Wait, hang on, what is go? Whoa! Oh, no! That didn't end well. <laughs> oh, RIP that guy. Flipping heck. And that's, oh, <gasps> what are these things? These are brand new to me. Those are new ones. Whoa, what a... <laughs> Please tell me they roll up into bulls and roll away. <laughs> we can fast travel, so we can use our jetpack to... Ooh. Just hover over the ground yeah. and go there uh, to our next destination. <laughs> it's like tobogganing, but in the air, yeah. <laughs> in your belly. It's like uh, how penguins go <laughs> down a hill, but up instead. In this game, you can talk to everyone, like... Oh, we couldn't ask if he was okay. He looked a bit sad there. <laughs> and it's his hand in his face. Adam, what, now that you've seen some of the game, what are you most excited about? Uh, honestly, like just walking around <laughs> and just <laughs> enjoying the world. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. And even just then the line of dialogue uh, filled in what those big sort of cattle, bon bars, did I see yeah. what they're called? The big cattle things. Like that's, I really love world building and Outcast was the first game ever to do it to a level that I really sort of, uh, what really spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And I've always gone for games uh, like that since then. So just this little tease in one area of this massive map is all this stuff is just making me want to just have a little look around what's around that corner and everything. So I feel kind of bad, but we're at the end of the slot. Oh, that went so I quick. Mean, <laughs> Time flies. I know you can play downstairs, so oh, yeah. I don't feel we're as covered. bad. But <laughs> thank you so much for showing us the game. And thank you for having me. Yeah. Great to listen to you. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Not out yeah. about it. Yeah, I, I've been under the moons. Check me out on YouTube. And this has been Fabian of Planet Adelpha, yes. also on YouTube. Yeah. Check us out for more Thanks Outcast. Thanks all the fans. I like shout outs. All the fans, seriously. All the Outcast so fans on the internet. Yeah out there. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Thanks THQ, for having, us. for having us. Thanks Brilliant. for being here. It was great. Thanks. So, chat, this was Outcast 2 gameplay, and we're going to take a longer break now. Yeah, it went really well, and Fabian did an amazing job at playing the game while still talking about the game. And although he may have gotten a little bit embarrassed about his on-screen death at the beginning of the demo, I said, don't worry, no one's ever going to remember that. Yesterday, someone uh, on stream here died 
during that first encounter with the robots. But now it was my time to play the demo. And even though we couldn't film our screen, sadly, uh, I just put on my lapel mic, the top of the range one that plugs right into your phone, plopped it on rather low because I was worried at how much feedback it was getting before, and started to take notes. And I got... Uh, this lapel mic was not up to the task at all. Yeah, so it turns out this thing is arse because if you put it too close to your mouth, it peaks, and if you put it too low, I guess it doesn't pick you up. So, hey, I'll let Adam reporting on the screen take it from here then. So, there we go. I've played some Outcast finally up to the years, got my hands on it, and yeah, I, I'm really impressed with the world, which I feel like that was the one thing we knew they would get right and we didn't have to worry about. Uh, secondly, Outcast Moves is because it's exactly kind of what I was talking about when I said getting used to a system like the Just Cause series. So that's really exciting. There's a few things that I think they can improve, like it's human jumping, jump. I would be out of shot if I replicated it. And that was the main one. And it's, up, and it's still an alpha as well. So there's still lots of little things that can be done. And uh, yeah, for the first thing that's available to play for the public though, really stable really impressive and I can't wait for more really and uh, it's really cool to see it here it seems like a lot of people are enjoying it and now I'm going to have a look around the rest of the THQ booth to see what they've got hey It. Done for Gamescom. Got bored, didn't we? We're now, uh, we're now just gonna go explore the city and enjoy some food. Cause yeah, Outcast 2 kind of took it all, took it all energy with me. So yeah, there we go, Gamescom. A little abrupt, I know, and I admit that my documentarian skills are a little rusty compared to what they used to be. I didn't capture the majority of the stuff I wanted to. Um, Hence why I'm recording myself now, to give a little bit of context to it all. Maya, Afa. <laughs> exactly what he said. <laughs> Woo. And that was it from Gamescom. But the day was still youngish, about five o'clock. So Fabian and his wife took me around Cologne for a little bit of exploring, some drinks, and a nice time. Before I had to get to the airport for my, oh god, what was it? 6.35 plane back to Stansted. The plan was to go back to the airport and catch a couple of hours of sleep. However, Fabian and his wife had other plans. It's a karaoke bar. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not liking it at all. I wanted to go to the airport instead of a karaoke bar. I may have come across as a little grumpy in those clips, but I really did have a fun time there and it was a good laugh. But it did have to be cut short as I did need to get to the other side of the city to get to the train station, to get to the airport, to then get my flight. <laughs> Officially passing the 24 hour without sleep barrier, I boarded my flight and was able to recharge a little bit on the flight back home. And that was my Gamescom trip to play Outcast 2. Yeah, and like I said, I did have plans to come back with buckets full of content. I guess I just got caught up in it all and sadly missed a lot of opportunities to record some stuff. I met several of Appeal's developers who were so lovely and welcoming. And while in the past I have wondered if some of my breakdown videos have maybe spoiled some stuff and have annoyed the development team, but no, apparently they find the videos quite fun, so that gave me a nice motivational boost. I do still have some thoughts about the demo I played and it might be a video idea to do later on where I talk over the B-roll footage that we've been supplied. I had an absolute blast there in the Outcast booth and on the live stage and especially playing the game. And I really can't wait to get my hands back on a controller and dive back into exploring Adelpha. 
So until then, have a lovely day and I'll see you next time under the moons. See you later. This is the sign they had at the airport while you waited for your passport to be checked. Burger citizens kept me entertained whilst I was stressing about time. <laughs>